Namaste, my dear. Namaste, my darling. I am sure that you have already conducted the experiment and have already gone to the store, or you have found body needs among the supplies in your pantry. If you have not done this, please go back to the previous video and see how to choose the right food in order to develop spiritually so that your aura becomes crystal clear. So, let's continue. I think that many of you have heard, read, and maybe even practiced that certain foods, even in small quantities, can help spiritual development. Someone might ask, how? How is this possible? It's coarse matter and it's coarse food. How can it transform into subtle energy? The first thing we have to remember is that food has a certain memory, an energy memory. For example, you have noticed that eating food cooked by a certain woman fills you with energy. You feel a surge of strength. You want more. You are in a good mood. And sometimes, you eat food cooked by another woman or buy it in a store and you feel this food is empty. There is no energy in it. There is no power. And you want to eat again after you've just had something. My dear, the difference is in the energy that is directed to this food and the energy state the cook is in. If the cook is in a state of prayer, joy, and desire to transmit energy to the world through food, the food will contain this kind of energy. There was one amazing example in my practice. Once, many, many years ago, when I first started to go along the spiritual path, I came to a temple. And some pilgrims who'd come from a holy place were there too. I immediately felt them with all my heart because they emitted sublime energy and spiritual power. I wanted to be near them. Tears of grace were just pouring out of my eyes. In their hands, they were holding bread, which they brought to the abbess of the temple and said, Mother, accept this. We have been to a holy place and want to share this energy. When I looked at this bread, tears flowed from my eyes tears of grace. My soul realized that if I didn't ask for a piece of this bread from this holy place now, my life would not acquire the meaning of the spiritual energy and path, and I would lose something. I mustered up the courage to approach them and ask, I feel that you are pilgrims from a holy place. I ask you to give me a piece of this blissful energy, this prasada. They said, of course, take as much as you need. I took a piece of this bread and there was no person happier than me at that moment because the spiritual energy this bread was impregnated with raised my soul to a very high level of spirituality. On this day, I was able to help many people find words of support, find words of inspiration, and help them solve difficult situations. Because every person who broke off a piece from my lump of bread said, God, it seems that my problems are not significant at all. My darling, your food can also become real prasada, or it can become destructive energy. And whatever state you are in before eating, let it become your ritual. Pray, tune in, and experience a state of gratitude to God that you have food. Other people might not have it. For many years, I have been engaged in charity projects to help people who do not even have anything to eat. And how wonderful it is that you come to seminars, as we can use all the donations to help people. You help people when you buy books and amulets and go through individual sessions. I don't need any of this. I live for people and we support so many people all over the world. 
just giving them food. But we don't just feed them. We bring them prasada with blessed energy. And may your food be blessed too. Write to me so that I can send you a prayer for charging food so that it becomes real prasada, a real blessing. If now you are just preparing for a meal, thank God and stretch out your palms and wish what you wish for yourself. Love, prosperity, wealth, health and only in such a blissful state you start eating. There are many ways to make food truly magical. I will tell you about it at my seminars. When you start eating, try not to be distracted by the TV, especially when you watch military operations, action movies, horror movies, or news. Anything that can put you into a disharmonious state. Listen to the music of transformation. You can purchase it by writing me your date of birth and I will select it for you. You can listen to spiritual literature, spiritual music, spiritual poems, or your favorite songs that awaken the most sublime emotions. Be in a state of connection with the higher energy, and then your food will turn from coarse material food into the most sublime energy. If you have any questions, write to me. I will be happy to answer them. Eat, because we eat at least two or three times a day, and let the food become a real spiritual practice for the development of your soul. Namaste. It is important not only to study, but also to practice the acquired knowledge in a circle of like-minded people. We invite you to join the company of loving, open, and happy people in our classes and seminars.